It always takes me such a long time to get set up down here. I just wanted to film in my living room again because it's a nice space. I've got my biggest plants here. They always make a lovely backdrop. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is a favourites video and I've wanted to make this for the longest time because I've been accumulating some cool stuff and I've just been really excited to shout out some other creators and people that are doing really amazing stuff. It's going to be a mixture of illustrators, artists, YouTubers that I am inspired by at the moment, vegan food of course, jewellery, what else have I got? One item of makeup and a few other little accessory things. So let's get into the video. So the first favourite that I want to talk about today is Ana Luisa Jewellery. They were kind enough to send me some pieces and I absolutely love them. I had actually heard of the brand before. Um, I'd heard another YouTuber talk about them and the fact that they make all of their jewellery out of recycled gold, which I thought was really cool. But I didn't know much about the production of gold and um, so through working with Ana Luisa, who are sponsoring today's video, I was able to find out that it actually takes 20 tonnes of earth to mine one gold ring. So that is so much destruction for the environment. Anything that I can buy secondhand or used or recycled, I absolutely want to do. So yeah, all of their gold is recycled. I'm currently wearing my favourite earrings from them. These are extra thick gold hoops. I've been wanting to um, change up into gold jewellery for such a long time but I wasn't really sure where to begin and what brand to go with. It's such lovely quality and these are really comfortable so I can see myself wearing these every single day. I've taken my nose ring out because I wasn't sure whether I want to mix up my metals quite so much because I actually have a rose gold wedding band and engagement ring. Then I always wear this necklace, which is from Craig. It's rose gold as well, and it has an opal in it. So these are like my must wear pieces of jewelry. I'm not really opposed to mixing up metals so much, but I didn't want to wear all three at the same time. So I'm just going with gold and it can be yellow gold, it can be rose gold. I'm also wearing a ring from my nanny right now. And when I'm wearing these little gold hoops, I think it just complements the ring so much. Um, I also have another pair which I absolutely love as well, they are slightly bigger. I see a lot of girls wearing these chunky gold hoops and I love the way it looks with like more casual styled clothing. So I'm going to try and style these. They're really beautifully made um, and I love the fact they're made from recycled gold and also I have a code to give you. The code will be in the description and I'll also put it up on the screen and you will get $10 off your order. So definitely go check them out, have a look on their website. They've got lots of really minimal pieces of jewellery, things that are quite dainty. They've also got some more like statement pieces and I will probably be going back to buy more. Next up, I want to talk about some books. I've been really excited to shout out these books and encourage you to go look at them. The first one is a cookbook. This is the Hella Heavenly HBOT Home Cookery Cookbook. And it's by Phoebe Thorburn, otherwise known as Honey Bunch of Onion Tops. And um, if you are a patron, you will have heard me talk about Phoebe's channel before. She has a really lovely, comforting cooking channel where she just shares what she eats in a day, what she eats in a week, different recipes she's testing. Definitely check out her channel, that will be linked in the description. But also this book, which is a collection of her recipes, has been such an inspiration to me because at the moment I'm writing a a cookbook as you know so having this as inspiration is amazing because this is all self-published thank you phoebe for making this book and inspiring me so much this is definitely going to stay in my collection for a long time oh next up i want to talk about the most beautiful illustrated book written and illustrated by jaya nicely who is an illustrator i follow on instagram and her work just blows me away it's so beautiful it's actually a guide to going offline more and to leaving your phone at home and what you can do to be inspired and more connected to the world around you which is just such a lovely idea isn't it you will be amazed at the illustrations they are so beautiful so textured so colorful Oh, look at this spread in particular. The birds, the birds are so beautiful. And this one, of course, a double spread of just beautifully painted leaves. Mm. This is the last of the books that I want to shout out in this video. They are two pug books, and they're actually kids' books, I believe, published by Scholastic Press and written by Flora Ann, 
who is a fellow illustrator, obviously, and a fellow pug owner. So these stories are inspired by her own pugs. I actually had the honor of painting her three dogs. This might sound really lame for like a 31 year old to say, but we've been reading these before bed. They're just so comical and lighthearted. And if you are a pug owner, there's just so many little bits in this that will make you smile because the way she describes the pug's attributes and what they get up to throughout the day, it's just very funny. And these are just lovely books. So if you have a child in your life who is obsessed with pugs, then these books are definitely some to check out. Let's talk about food next, shall we? The first vegan treat that has been a favourite of mine since they first launched is the Rhythm 101 chocolate bars, the praline ones. I don't have any to show you right now because obviously if they're in my house, I'm gonna eat them within the first 24 hours. So they are long gone. They're just so good. You can't tell they're vegan at all. And I think that's true of a lot of their range of things and no refined sugar and stuff like that, but you cannot tell. They're just delicious little treats. Um, and if you are someone who loves praline and milk chocolate and you feel like you're missing that on a vegan diet, Definitely check them out. I think they are sold in Sainsbury's. Also from Sainsbury's, I can show you an empty packet of fishless fillets from Gardein. Uh, so these are like an American brand that have recently been started to be stocked in the UK. These are just so flaky and meaty and delicious. Really recommend having them in like a sandwich with some tartar sauce. And we also put some mushy peas in there with like some mint and some dill, some little chopped up gherkins. That was really good. Lastly, in the food and drink category, I wanted to recommend some chocolate tea. I've got a really sweet tooth, so has Craig. We like to treat ourselves with food um, and we're always thinking about what food we wanna eat. That's not always what we should be doing. We should have some balance and we shouldn't always be eating treat food. Yes, to after dinner and we want a pudding. Instead, we make a choco tea and I'm not gonna pretend it is the equivalent of a pudding, but it is quite delicious. It's got um, cocoa shells, cinnamon, licorice, carob, cocoa powder, cardamom, ginger, cloves, ginger oil, vanilla beans and other stuff as well. And yeah, it's just a really nice, spicy, sweet, comforting tea. We have it with oat milk and then I sometimes put a little bit of agave syrup in there as well. I wanted to shout out some sunglasses that I got. These are from Ace and Tate which are a really cool brand. They make sunglasses and regular glasses and they do lots of different styles. These are unisex and I really like them. <laughs> they are quite big and sturdy so hopefully I won't break or lose these. to mention some makeup. I've had this since my wedding, which was last summer. So I've had it for a while. I think some people might think that's gross, but I don't wear that much makeup when, unless I'm filming videos. So I don't wear much during the week. My makeup lasts a long time. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. As I've got older, I've noticed that my skin is not looking so good anymore. I've got really dry skin, so it's not very luminous without a little bit of help. It just can look quite dull sometimes. So I've been putting this, I just put it on my cheekbones and my brow bone, um, where else do I put it? Oh, and also the bridge of my nose and sometimes here if I can be bothered and just blend it in and then I put a foundation over the top or sometimes I don't, sometimes I just put this on um, and it just makes my skin look much more healthy but it's not glittery or anything like that. It is a highlighter but it's not glittery so it just looks like natural dewy skin. Oh, I also want to talk about some conditioner because I've not really heard many people talking about this brand. The conditioner's upstairs in the shower and I can't be bothered to go get it so I'm going to include some clips of the conditioner. It is the Pureology range. I really love this brand. They're probably like the only vegan and cruelty free hair care brand that I found that actually moisturizes moisturizes my hair because obviously my hair is very bleached and it's been bleached for a long time so it needs like really super strength conditioner and um, yeah the Pureology range of hydrating conditioners is so good it's like the only conditioner I will ever use I think and also they use recycled plastic for their bottles which is good I forgot I have one more food product to talk about 
Speaking of plastic, this is the only bad thing about this. It's in plastic. This is peanut butter powder. So it's just powdered peanuts. If you are someone who likes to put peanut butter in your smoothies, but you are worried about just how many calories you are consuming because you like to be generous with your peanut flavor, then this might be a good option for you. It is 80% less fat than traditional peanut butter, but it still tastes really peanutty. It's high in plant-based protein. I like to put it in a banana smoothie with a bit of cacao powder, some spinach, some maca powder, black seeds, plant milk, and that is my go-to smoothie of choice. So let me know if, you, if you've ever seen peanut butter powder sold in bulk in the UK or in something that is more sustainable than this big plastic container. So I really hope you enjoyed hearing some of my favourites from the past year, I guess. Please do check the description for links to everything and also a link to Ana Luisa Jewellery and there will also be the 10% discount code so don't forget to use that if you want to make a purchase. Thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video um, and yeah, subscribe if you're new. I make weekly videos usually about my life as a freelance illustrator and like this video, let me know what some of your favourites have been recently and I will see you again very soon for another video. Bye!